Hey, Edward Hyde here with a quick tip for your off-grid hydroponics. Now, we'll try to make this fast today because some people say, oh, Edward runs his mouth too much. And that kind of stems from when I was a child and trying to get a word in edgewise, the adults would say, Edward, shut up. Cut! It's what? too long. Too long? All right, all right. Hey, I'm Edward Hyde. Cut! All right, just a quick tip for you all today. And this actually comes from a lot of you out there. There's been several of you that have given me this tip and it's about watering your off-grid downspouts. And this also works for other cracking containers and that too. But I always have the downspouts and a lot of you have showed me this. But when you first plant these out and they're little tiny microgreens, right? They can go for about a month. You don't have to do anything to it. When they start to get larger, they'll really start to drink the water. So you can't go a month without watching it. You're gonna have to check it. And sometimes when it gets really big, if it's like kale and that, uh, you know, during the summer, you're gonna have to check it like every day. And what some people have done so that they can stretch that out a little longer is that they actually go ahead and get a container. And I use the milk jugs that uh, I've got several of these. If you guys have seen them in my other videos that I actually grow in this. So I've always got these laying around. So I like to take one of these because it's opaque. Uh, you can paint it if you want. A lot of you out there have painted them black and have painted them white again. Um, I just leave mine like this because actually I just grow my kale to about this size, maybe a little bit bigger. We harvest it and we've always got some coming, you know, right behind of each other. But what you can do is fill this up initially when you first fill it up, right? Just below the roots. What you do is instead of having six plants in here, just go ahead and leave one hole empty okay now fill this up with your nutrient solution and then take your container whatever you want to use and fill that up slack full to the top okay and then take it and you're gonna do this quick and you guys have probably did this when you were a kid and, and using a glass of water and and playing around in the sink and that but you want to take it and flip it upside down really fast into there so that your water doesn't leave the jug and what happens is this will be down below the water line initially right and that will stop the water from coming out of here now you don't want any holes in here because it's creating a vacuum and that's what's holding the water up inside of the jug so you don't want any holes or anything in here so make sure it's watertight this will be up above it none of this water will come out and as your water starts to go down where you would have to normally go ahead and, and check this and refill it that this will drop down below this and water from here will enter your downspout and when it rises back up to this lip, it'll stop again. So, you know, this whole thing's not gonna go into there at once. It's not gonna be like, I need three quarts of water and it, and it puts three quarts in. It's gonna drop a little, some will seep out. It'll be like a little gradual thing. So you can see this actually going down. This will actually squeeze like a little vacuum because there's no air here, right? And it's like sucking it out. Some air might, pop back up in there so you'll see this it might just squash down a little bit but then you can kind of keep an eye on this and you can see how much nutrients is in here if you walk by and you kind of feel it if it's like just flopping around you know it's empty but that will extend the time that you have in between your refills now as far as the containers like I said I always have these laying around I use these I love them the one thing you got to watch is that this does get top heavy if you've got a gallon on here right this is three quarts you might want to strap it down with some velcro or wherever you have this sitting you know just tie it off it might help it depends on some of you you know some places you live it's a lot more windy than where i'm at right but when you choose your containers like i said this one's already opaque you're going to want to go ahead and uh maybe color it if you want if you're going to pick something that's clear make sure you go ahead and paint it i wouldn't try anything flimsy you know like that water bottle is a little flimsy they've got bigger bottles maybe a two liter bottle but some of the newer water bottles are like really really flimsy i want to really try those but anything else always look at you got a little oil right always think you're going to have it sitting like that is it going to be top heavy right is it going to tip over easy you know like that you know that came in a little container it looks cool but when you flip it over that way it fits in there right but is it going to tip over easy so 
pay attention to that. You can always use a milk jug. I've used those before. Take it, put it in there. And like I said, and you can always just strap a piece of Velcro. Just get you a little piece of Velcro and wind it around here. Strap it on there. Works well. So any kind of container, you know, there's another gallon. So the more you have up here, the less you're going to have to refill. So uh, I think it was Justin, Jim, uh, Tom, and a couple other people have sent me pictures of this. And they're using it on their downspouts. And you can also use it in your other cracking experiments and that too. If you've got little, you know, two gallon containers up on your counter, you can go ahead and stick this up there and you're going to extend it by another gallon. So if you've got the space for it and you want to take longer times in between, that's a great tip. Alrighty, you guys, go out there and have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to live stream this weekend and uh, you guys can come on and ask questions about, you know, how I grow and what I do. And, uh, I'll tell you about the new look, why we're doing this, and a lot of other exciting things go, going on. We'll catch you next time. Lift, inspire, keep on growing, be the change. I forgot to take the price tag off the bottom of the... This? Yeah. No, the... I don't think you can see it. No, I don't think so either. All right, I'll do this again.